Since about the beginning of March we've been working together, we've developed eight clinical pathways and we've been asking our partners, service users, the NHS and the voluntary sector to come together to listen to service users around how could we improve their experiences and each of those pathway groups have been led by a clinician, have been working on improving that and today they're actually going to be sharing some of their insights and some of their headlines. Well I've been for a care of my mum now for the last seven years. I feel quite passionate about um, the fact that care for people with dementia needs to be seamless, it needs to be integrated, it needs to be person-centric and it needs to have that person at the heart of all the care that's given to them. There are different definitions of parity of steam. One of the definitions may be that, you know, that mental health has to have the same weighting, equal weighting as physical health. It can mean that the same money that goes into physical health services go into mental health services. It's about actually we listen with the same interest and with the same importance to mental health issues as we do to physical health issues. Without the nurse, the occupational therapist, um, voluntary sector, all I'd be doing is looking after the medical side. But as you appreciate, it's a whole person. It's not just about, you know, the medicines. So everybody working together is totally important. Otherwise, we won't achieve the best outcome for the person. There are a couple of things that are really important to us about mental health services and integration and the first one is that we listen to the voices of people who use our services who are expert in the experience that mental ill health has on their lives and seek to do all we can to learn from them how to make our services better because if there's one group of people arguing for integration it's people who use services themselves. We all have our own views and opinions about what it is we want to do for patients and for service users but actually what, what this event allows is a, a much more collective and collaborative approach to agreeing what are the core principles that we all want to work with and also how we reflect those in our care pathways. I think it makes sure that we are working in partnership with Combined Healthcare from a health watch point of view um, and we need to be involved otherwise we're not going to get, know what's going on but also we can actually feedback things that health watch are picking up to help inform how the clinical pathways are going to be progressed and that and perhaps you know this might need tweaking in that so actually we can actually feedback to from service users but feedback to them as well so it's very important. I'm really hoping from today that the pathways will be reviewed and um, for the benefit of any one of us in the future um, who may be unfortunate to get dementia that things will be much improved and um, a lot more integrated and coordinated than they've been in the past. I do believe really that it's, it's important to move forwards. We can't change the past but we can certainly reshape the future.